Good afternoon everybody, this is Nell Carroco again and I received one comment on my YouTube video and that is from Charisse Hadji Charalambus Okay, hi Charisse, I hope that I mentioned your surname properly or maybe it's just a YouTube pen name Okay, uh, Charisse told me, hello Nelka, is it possible to import a SketchUp drawing or architectural drawing with all the elements included to the Alax Evo just to insert the lighting. Thank you. And I said, yes, but it might slow down your computer or, yeah, because that might be a heavy object, so it will crush your PC. So, but then I have one project right now. So this is a huge villa here. And uh, the client sent me the SketchUp file. And then this SketchUp file, I convert it into a 3ds file using Pecan Planner. So right now I'm I'm in the Pecan Planner, and then I imported it into Dialux Evo. Look at this, ta-da! Amazing, right? And I think this is only 26 MB. And if you are working cherries on outdoor lighting, let's like say for example the facade lighting. Yes, you can use those SketchUp files and please remove the trees and other heavy details because the original file is something like this. You see, this is the original picture. This is the rendered picture from that project. So uh, yeah, you need to remove those trees because that will be very heavy. So what I took is only those um, architectural elements on the facade because I will do the facade lighting and maybe I will insert some um, plants later on when I do the landscape lighting but I will choose the uh, low poly trees rather than those pine trees or palm trees heavy palm trees okay so because you can get uh, low poly uh, palm trees on uh, 3d SketchUp warehouse also okay so cherries yes you can use those lovely architectural elements like those balusters yes in to your lighting design in Dialux Evo but make sure that it's not too heavy for example this one is 26 or 28 MB and that is fine and I can run my facade lighting and garden lighting on this one but if you are working both the indoor and the outdoor you need to make sure that you need uh, you need to make sure that you remove all those elements inside because if we go inside there's it's empty now i remove all those elements inside okay make sure that you remove all those things inside the building and keep what are only on the outside all right so yes you can do it but make sure it's not too heavy and also you remove those elements inside the room but um I would like to suggest but because sometimes you will be working on both the indoor and the outdoor right so make a separate calculations for the indoor and then I make make a separate calculations for the outdoor lighting that's what I'm going to suggest <laughs> okay so that's it and I hope you learned something today don't forget to subscribe and of course go to my Udemy courses if you want to learn the basic lighting and the Dialux Evo software and Photoshop and AutoCAD for lighting designers. Okay, so see you again on the next video. Bye! Oops, I forgot to add. You cannot directly import a SketchUp file in Dialux Evo. You need to convert it into that 3DS file report before importing it into Dialux Evo. I use Picon Planner to convert SketchUp file into that 3DS file and then that file goes to Dialux Evo, okay? So again, you cannot directly import a SketchUp file into Dialux Evo. You need to convert it first. Okay, that's it. See you again on the next video. Bye! Thank you.